What's up, y'all? I'm back again with another video. Welcome back to my channel, Vibe with Tay. You guys already know. Follow me on Instagram at vibe.with.tay and follow my new Twitter account at Vibe with Leia. So we are back again with a reaction video. Reaction slash mukbang video because I mean my little, you know, Lomo Sao Tao though. It's real good. It's hidden. It's hidden. You guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we back with a, a little change up, a little switcheroo, some new for y'all. So let's get into the video. We are reacting to some coons. Pretty much some coons. Um, what is it? Is it time to get over slavery? And my special guest, my brother. What's up, y'all? Artist name is Wolf Omega. That's W X L F O O M E G A. That's also my Instagram name. Check me out there. Um, I currently only have one song out, but keep on waiting. It's going, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna build up my repertoire. No, pop. My discography is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna shock the world. And that's on period. <laughs> that's on life itself. So let's get into his reaction slash mukbang video today. Okay. I think we is. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You gonna make me act up. Your shoulder. You gonna make, make me, me act up. up. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think he even did all that. <laughs> yeah, too much. It's about to be a joke. Yeah, pass for that. Yeah. Right, that back. Obama was a representation of something important. Obama didn't do anything but an abomination <laughs> to us, to this whole nation. Yo, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was a me. I was like, yo. They got opinions, bro. Like, yeah. What's the biggest misconception black liberals have about you? That we are self-hating, uh, we, we, we hate our mom, we hate our dad, we don't know history. We're out of- I'm sorry, real quick, bro, that, that dude head, bro. <laughs> bro, his Samuel head Jackson like, looking at us, he got bro. a landscape head, like, straight up, like, his mouth- Why are we talking about, bro, come on. <laughs> his head look like a candy, let's go back, let's go back. Touch, we, that we don't, don't have any real world experiences. experiences. We don't. They yeah. made. Yeah. No. What? 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 Black 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 that's the crazy part is like a lot of black liberals can't comprehend the fact that there are black conservatives that exist when in all actuality our principles and our morals like originally all like they all come from a place of conservatism like all of our ideals and values like as black people as a community they're all conservative ideals and values you get me mm -hmm. so it's like you know what i'm saying we kind of switched up and went to like a more you know what i'm saying liberal way of a way of living and way of thinking and way of socializing but in reality like a lot of our morals and principles and values they stem from a place of conservatism it's just changing you know it's always everything's always changing oh yeah uh, the the party the goal with used to be republicans and now it's the democrats that's wild like a lot of people don't know that which it's is crazy like, like i don't care about it no way democrats or republicans it's like what it is you, what it is what good are you doing like it's, it, it, it is what it is you know what i mean you can be a democrat doing worse things than republicans it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's just the, it's the character it's the person pretty much say pretty much whatever you want do whatever you want but when you're right here you got to be a little bit more human Whew. my name is uh, kevin martin uh, i'm a business consultant i was born and raised in pennsylvania uh, born into and raised in a conservative household I'm still a conservative. My name is Xavier. Uh, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. He's so uh, I'm liberal. Hi, I'm Elisa. I'm definitely as far left as one can walk. I'm Anthony Logan. I'm from Virginia originally. Grew up in a socially conservative household, but very politically liberal. I'm conservative now, and I'm looking forward to hearing all you guys' point of view. My name is Lady Paige Borelli. I am a conservative Republican. All right, can I get my black liberals on the left and my black conservatives on the right? Say that again. 
Liberals on the left, say that again. To the right. <laughs> say that again. Like, <laughs> why is she saying it like that, bro? <laughs> what the hell was that, bro? That's crazy. You you agree with she's mad extra. I don't like her. I do it. People like her at work that. all day. I'm saying, like, bro, that was them extra. older. I'm just not even go there, bro. That was crazy. Maybe I can help a fool. Like, sit down. For real. Listen. Like, mm. Man, don't listen. <laughs> People need to get over slavery. Don't no, nobody. Slavery was a choice. Nobody better walk. I'm explaining. I knew it. I knew Lady K was gonna walk up. Too. Slavery was a choice. And I hear about slavery, slavery for 400, 400 years. years. For, 400 for 400 years, years? that sounds like, sound a, like choice. a choice. <laughs> I knew she was gonna walk up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we all know that slavery was a terrible thing. Yeah. It was an atrocity. Right. It, was it was a human, human tragedy. tragedy. But we, we can't, can't just be talking about him, bro. Okay, at that point, you saying that is just completely downplaying slavery, bro. It was he said, much get worse over than that, slavery? Bro. Is you it crazy? Much worse we than still that. living in modern day slavery, y'all? Bro, they used to boil and eat slaves, bro. They used to take their teeth and then make it their own. This would make us out of furniture, bro. Furniture. Their weak ass teeth wouldn't last, and they used to take like, our teeth and for their own teeth, bro. They used to make our skin into furniture, leather, bro. Like, you know how sick, sick you gotta sick. be? Slavery every day. It ended in 1865. This is 2020. Mm -hmm. We gotta press forward. Our ancestors, they went through a lot. They died for us to be able to be here right now. Yes. And the best turn to play here. Yes. Take advantage of what we have right now, rather than looking at the past and saying, "Oh, I don't necessarily think that 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 justifies equates, that statement to get yeah. over slavery." I don't think that equates to getting over slavery. our history. Like, that think, matters, bro. Right. They when they used to be taught that in school. They're not taught that in school. They taught yeah. what's his name? I don't think Christopher Columbus is right. Like, what do you mean, like, bro? I don't think moving on and pressing on with life necessarily means that you have to get, get over, over and completely yeah. forget about what happened, dude. Also, oh, history that's, makes that's what's going on today horrible, bro. They still continue us? to lie to us and and, and no, even when they make the slavery movies, they sugarcoat everything. That ain't what really like. It's gory. It gets real gory and dark. It's deep, yo. It's deep. Yeah. Listen to my music, I talk about it. It's deep. Facts. Well, what was me because of slavery? Right. You know, there have been other groups of people in slavery all throughout the world. They can't just stay in that state. So people, a lot of times, they stay right in that place, and others are being able to pass them because mentally they've moved on while others have not. They constantly use slavery to put them in a victim mentality. We can't accomplish this because... Victim mentality. Hey, girl. Lady, lady. Lady, please. No, what the f***? Man, man. Breaks, lady, brother. Lady, lady. This is you enslaved lady. my ancestors. Slaves were taught English. Slaves were taught awesome. how to Bro. become managers and secretaries and cooks and uh, chauffeurs and uh, how to build water sure, tanks no and all like that. Things. We, we're here <laughs> now. We came from a society that was living nope, and running. Yes, nope. So I don't think we need to get over slavery. I think we need to talk about the repercussions of it, like yeah. generational trauma, day, like the bro. system that it's exists good. because of it. I don't think we should use it as a crutch to as for a lens for him to you hold yourself back, hey. you know what I mean? I think it is a mindset as well. I think one of the most dangerous aspects of generational advancement <laughs> is misinformation. I think a lot of young people, especially younger, why do I get treated this way? Why has my mother gone through this? Or why does my grand has my grandmother gone through this? Right. Well, it all comes down to the repercussions of slavery. And so I think that exactly. just getting uh -huh. over something I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. Right. So when I hear That's people not something you can just get over, dude, when it still is affecting us to this day. It started 400 years ago and it's till this day so it's still me. affecting us. We're trying to play victim. And we're just supposed to get over it? Yeah, girl, what the hell are you talking about? That's not how it works. That's not at how it all, works. sweetie, at all. And I, I feel like that's what was halting that process of, of actually healing is them older generations was not getting it, dude. They at was, all. It was lost Wasn't in the source. Wasn't talking about it, so yeah. Lost in the source. Like, and hopefully my, my kids is, is smarter than I was. Smarter than I am today. So they can... Really push Use further. that, yeah, to their um, advantage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Use your knowledge. People and friends, I think it's ridiculous. Just getting over something as serious as that, um, I think just plays into the whole idea of it just didn't matter anyway. So how long did we continue to harp <laughs> on it? 
<laughs> how long do we continue? Forever? It's not hard. Well, after we, do we never get over it? Education. Well, education. education is fine. That's a, no history is one thing to not get over a thing. Or something else. A I listened to both of you. And I even thought maybe I'll stay out of this one. No. But the notion of ending the discussions on slavery, they haven't begun. Uh, we just got yeah. the lynching memorial in Alabama. We just got the African American Smithsonian in D.C. Well, we go to Germany and How's walk more than legal, a mile like, without I, seeing some. The United States does not acknowledge slavery in that way. We are beginning to discuss, but we can't get over it until white folks acknowledge it. Being black should not influence no, a political, nobody cares. political view. So, yeah, being black should not really influence how you think politically, because what's good for us as black folks should be the same as everybody else. It should be from the point of view of me being an American and wanting the best for me in America. I will vote for the best person um, that is running. And so far, it's been, Has in my situation, it's been Republicans, conservative Republicans. I Trump, vote based on the issues that I care about and the issues that I care about stem from my personal experiences. As someone that was um, raised in a conservative household, I have different views on certain things. I don't think the skin color should have anything to do with a political view. I would say I definitely don't vote for candidates just because they're black. Ben Carson could never get my vote. <laughs> However, I do feel very much a part of a group. Did you ever vote your religious belief? Yes. Um, on abortion? Have I eroded my religious beliefs on abortion? No, like... <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm oh, sorry. What's your bro? religious belief on, on abortion? We're not even talking about abortion. It's nothing to do with this conversation. Oh, it's black. Not how he checked. Yeah, nothing to do with this conversation. The majority Damn. of abortions bro, are Bro, why he checking her phone? Oh. Black race. Damn. Well, I so, want to ask you. You should. You said interested in answering that question. Really quick, I want to ask you, because you um, said you wanted yeah, to leave bro. slavery behind. You wanted yeah. to get over it. But I didn't say, say forget it. Yeah. You said to get over it. I'm saying get, get over, over it. it. Let's not get over it. it. You're a Christian. I still say teach it. You're a Christian? Yes, I am. And where'd you, where do you think we got that? Got what? Christianity. Christianity, stupid. Uh, Christianity goes all the way back to the beginning of time. No, it doesn't. So where did we learn it from? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why is she being no, around no. a bush? It Answer this question. It doesn't, bro. Here's That's the mean. problem with a lot of people. They don't know the history, bro. She said Christianity goes back to the beginning of time. No, the fuck it doesn't, bro. That's like low-key a, a, a newer religion, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, the Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? The Jewish religion and all these different religions were there way before Christianity, bro. Oh. That is a fucking lie, bro. I don't believe this lady for one second. I'm talking about some Christianity. Shut the hell up. Today. Hey, lady, shut the up, man. No, I'm don't. talking about. Sometimes it's just better to just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. People don't be talking Educate too much yourself. for me. Don't you wait. Oh, no. <clears throat> so, everybody subscribe, you know what I'm saying? This is my channel now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Egyptians had religions, the Jewish taught no, religion. No, where did you, where did you, you mean in African America? Diaspora. In well, America. In your lineage, yeah. Um, yeah, in your lineage, right? Slavery, right? They learned it from slavery. They ah! slaves also brought <laughs> religion with them there. when they came, so it was a mixture of everybody's religion. Oh, but they learned how to read. So what they, what what they learned... No, they learned how to read. No, sir. No. So what they what they learned how to read was the, the Holy Bible. Bible. Mm -hmm. And either you're gonna believe the Holy Bible, Bible or you're gonna be uh, what? Uh, Arabic. Uh, uh, that fight. What? Because it wasn't English. English. Sitting over there talking to leave somewhere. <laughs> I got a story time for y'all. I got to tell y'all about that one. Different video. Yeah, different video. It ain't that long to be honest. Like here's a story, dude. We just drove by one day, and then um we just seen a lady just talking to a leaf, bro. Well, I did. I looked out the window to my right, and I just seen a lady just standing there, like, <laughs> talking to a leaf, bro. And I was just like, what the fuck was that, bro? Like, that shit was crazy. Like, I didn't I didn't know what I was looking oh at. Oh, my gosh, bro. Like, that's the stuff that you see, you know what I'm saying? But it's L.A., dude. Out so here, that's what I said. And, and like, bro. L.A., bro, that's what you see. It's just, like, just regular. Mm -hmm. You go out to eat, and then you just be, like, at a gas station or something. Yeah, it's a fun. You just turn to the right and see a lady just...
you know what I'm saying? And then, like, you just got to be having fun with them. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and they start, like, running off somewhere and, like, and then talking to somebody nutty. else's lead. Bro, nutty. Like, someone else's lead. <laughs> like, that's real, bro. That's my saying. I'm winning America now. Everybody should speak English. Oh. <laughs> this guy's so 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 hey, ignorant. You're that old and you're Black that ignorant, lady. lady. Go. Support the Black Lives Matter. They're a terrorist group. That's what you're going to say. Well, I think it's all lives matter. I am a public defender for 17 years. Oh. I work in the criminal justice system. I see a lot of the behind the scenes when it comes to police brutality. I agree right. with the fact that black lives do matter. I yes. think we all agree on that. That's yes. something that nobody's going to deny. <laughs> but it's the tactics. I, yes. I don't like the tactics. I mean, I saw it in 2015, the Freddie Gray situation. Uh, also with Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. Mm -hmm. You burning neighborhoods down. You're right. tearing things apart. I have people who will say, well, the percentage of blacks that are being killed is high. And I said, where do you get that? Rate, like well, it's been. we see it on TV all the time. But the ones who are not shown on television is in a much higher bracket of being shot quicker than a black man would. And that's shown with the FBI statistics. What? Black Lives Matter as an organization is about peaceful protest and is about bringing awareness. There's no Black Lives Matter organizer who's ever looted a CVS. There's no Black Lives Matter organizer who has ever advocated for violence. So in terms of saying, look, I see somebody definitely yeah, being no. targeted. The Black Lives Matter, that, that organization has its issues, it has its problems, but that's one thing I can't say. It's all, it's all done peacefully. Most of the time when you see the, the uprising and the uproars, it's from people that have nothing to do with the Black Lives Matter organization as a whole. Yeah. Uh, most of the time it's from, from uh, the group that allegedly exists that's called Antifa, which is an anti-fascist group, walking around just trying to destroy shit and just burn it down. And then you got other niggas that they just see a come up. So they just, they run up in the store Get their little, you know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. little shoes, their little clothes, little Gucci, Versace, whatever. And, then, and they go on about their day. And they sell it and they go on, find they, they go on about their day. They don't really care much about what's going on. The they movement. Just, and they, they feel like they can come They up. see chaos and then they just start yeah, adding yeah. on to the chaos. Right. Yeah, we got to <laughs> I mean, we ain't never seen reparations for, for what they did to us and what they've done to our ancestors. So, to be honest, I really don't care which, either which way it go. Yeah, that's facts killed by police is a very specific statistic police aren't killing white folks like that you can't just leave it there and say well we're being killed more therefore it's a problem with race why are we being killed more by the police is there because we're over policed what is there's that? more police in our community what does that mean it means that the ratio exactly the number said. of police at they any given time over. where i live black youth are seen as four to five years older we're seen as scary we're seen as intimidating so that's why you see situations yeah. like Tamir Rice. You see police reacting quickly with lethal force he had a, because he had a gun. Looked like it was real though, you know. He was, but there was no one there. Let's say he Is had he a serious, real gun. Bro? Why couldn't the police say stop? He was killed in less than fifteen seconds. A twelve-year-old boy out with, out with a BB people. gun. Well, no, he was like not. A, like when I had a BB gun when I was that age, and it looked real too. And you know, my parents told me, "Do not go outside with that." And I'm in the all-black area. Do not go outside with that and point it at people because it look real. And why you think they did? Why think they did that? Hopefully, because they recognize that as a black boy, you're going to be targeted. Barack Obama. When you a kid. You don't make mistakes. I don't mean death. That shouldn't mean death. No. Samuel Jackson, bro. Fucking straight. He's hard as goddamn Obama snakes on his goddamn didn't do plane, much to black bro. Americans I'm or for Americans in general. Down. But what he did do was one very important thing that I got to give him credit for. And that was to say that you can be black and be the president of the United States. It's whole. No, okay. A title means what? What What the f does a title mean if you're not going to uphold that motherfucker? Can you tell me, bro? I'm a black man. I'm the first black president. Okay, what did you do as the first black president, bro? What did you do? Look, Kamala Harris, I'm looking at you. Look. All this big talk. What y'all about to do, you. though? That's what I'm saying. You so, well, I can't do anything because I'm black and slavery. Uh-uh. I'm not trying to hear it no more. You had the first black president. Okay, we haven't even had a real black president yet. 
So Tupac changes, that should still ring true. We ain't ready to see a black president. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Stop it. The black wife, the black kids, all that good stuff for two turns. Not once. It wasn't a fluke. Two turns. Obama has done oh, more do damage to the African-American race than any of the other presidents. She got me dying, he, he came into the presidency lying. He lied to our faces to get elected. Lady Kate, then uh, once in, yeah. he... Yeah. Disavowed. He just forgot about the blacks, first of all. She's kind of, she's been some truth. But one thing I can say, this nigga was trying to pass laws and the Republicans, like, they were in the it. House, like, a representative, like, they were in the House, so they were, like, it wasn't letting it. any of his shit pass. So I, I will say that. He might have been trying to do I mean, yeah, he might have tried, did. you know what I'm saying? That flinch, I just can't let that shit go. Yeah, bro, bro I, I that was whack. That All that the black, black, disappointed, beautiful faces that was in that Nigga, crowd in the audience. You could have just not showed up. For you to, yeah. <laughs> you could have just not showed you up. You should have just left Flint, Michigan out the mix because you really made yourself look like an ass. Yeah, what you did, why you, why you over here calling Kanye a jackass? I think you need to look in the mirror, bro. For real. Self reflection, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, Mal, I didn't even know. good now. Y'all drink that water now. <laughs> <laughs> of us. Obama didn't do anything but an abomination to us, to this whole nation. Yo, I... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I agree with what you said. You know, he did a lot of damage. And the, the main thing that I remember from his term was when he had Black Lives Matter in the White House while Whoa. Ferguson was happening, while it was happening. Hey, you guys are doing a great job out there. Whoa. You guys are doing fantastic. Didn't say, hey, Tone down the rhetoric a little bit, maybe because you got some problems. That's you not them, bro. Job. Keep on going. So, Obama. Yes. This nigga got all that hair just to be sounding stupid all the time. I would hate to be a nigga with a big ass boulder head and just be dumb. <laughs> He's got a big boulder head for no reason. Yeah, if you was really out there, you head. would know and understand the Black Lives Matter organization. Like I said, why they have their issues and problems because it's it's not it's not fully solid. It's not at all. Most black organizations aren't. But one thing I can say, they are doing peaceful protests. So you can't blame the raiding and looting on them, bro. That's no, a, that's definitely a fact, not bro. the one we truly started is people outside we of the there. black race. Allegedly we were there. And allegedly I might have thrown a water bottle. Allegedly. It was a representation of something important. But also I think the whole thing is a big puppet show. Oh. And you know, it wasn't really <laughs> yeah. hard, bro. It was I'm I'm never really Jojo sure what's going on behind the scenes, so we don't know what kind of deals are being made. Mm -hmm. I do think that there was people that benefited from some policies uh, that Obama put in place, sexuals. and I also believe <laughs> that there were. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> let's keep going. People that uh, did not benefit, and so I sure. think that there are obviously good things about the Obama presidency, and there's things that I disagree with with the Obama presidency. Okay. Yeah. 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 Educate you, young brother. Yeah. <laughs> educate me. Educate hey. else, bro. You you see, that's what I. That's what I. Uh, the dichotomy of, of man is like, and, and the way, well, man and woman, I just mean like humankind. We just, we, there's so many layers to people and there's so many contradictions and complexities for people. You can't, it, it's impossible to just completely restrain a person and their ideals and their values and their beliefs to just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just one, yeah, one whole, like in one set, one gang, one clique, one a party one group because it's like you know what i'm saying like everybody believes different whatever things, they want to believe I mean? yeah it's like there's no point to be shoving stuff on people throw like yeah. as in they they are they're gonna do what they're gonna do yeah that's something i like, live freely like live how you live as right. long as you ain't harming nobody in the you know what i'm saying or whatever doing right. what you're doing but like do everybody you everybody got their different viewpoints and everybody yeah. got their different ways of as a things. kid i had all different types of friends and like age groups and people you know what i'm saying like friends who didn't believe in you know god and, like christianity and, like all types of stuff like it is, it is what it is, is. It is what it is yo you know I mean? it's just it is what it is man. where'd you go study diversity and pepper what do you study political science and law enforcement social studies i mean well, social studies if I teach it, social science, masters. It shows. The black community <laughs> should accept he is such LGBTQ a smart plus rights. Man. You know she's not stepping up for that. You know, I'm a part of the LGBT community. I'm transgender, so I was born female. Now, oh, wow. Now. Uh, yeah, it Ain't was an uh, interesting wow. world in getting my family to understand, you know, who... I was Whoa. at times. So. That's crazy. I, I think it was like, no, they didn't. Bro.
Okay, human rights is one thing. Sexual rights is a whole nother thing. And the LBGBT, XYZ, whatever, <laughs> they're gluttony. Thinking about Dwayne Wade's son. He's 12 years old. Do you think a 12 year old boy should be able to call himself transgender? Is that no. what we're gonna do? So my favorite uncle, mm -hmm. died of age, was gay. That was my dog, 100%. If you get this your business, I don't care. That's you. That's not me. That's you. Yeah. We're talking about LGBT rights. What do we mean? I mean, I think it's the right to exist. Dwayne Wade's daughter knows exactly who she is. And, Twelve. And she does right. And, and there's... Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> the, the way it echoed. Twelve. 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 Like, damn. As a parent, I just give you a platform to flourish and bloom as you do. And then when you're an adult, if that's the decision the parent wants to make, you can do what you want, sure. That's the decision my parents said. Did you kind of say what he said? So you kind of like on the same page with me. Like that's, this, this is what my parents did. You, you do what you want when you're out of the house. But the thing is, if I had the, re if my parents had the resources and the education that they do now, they would have probably allowed me to, uh, they would have offered me a decision that would have helped me you know, live my life. That's that was the point that I was making, like earlier, like towards like or much earlier in the video. Like, you see, you know, she's she's a you know, an older woman. You know, she's you know, and that's an older gentleman right there. And the black community has been primarily based and centered on conservative ideals and beliefs up until like, fairly recently, bro. Like kind of yeah. recently, to be honest. Like that's true. Yeah, I felt excluded from the black community. Probably the first aspect of being excluded from the black community is, by the way, I talk. I was so adopted <laughs> to a Caucasian family. I was raised around in a completely different culture than what most African-American people are raised in or around. But the black community is saying, look, you don't believe like us, you don't think like us, you don't vote like us, and so you're not one of us. I felt, I felt it. I actually mocked him earlier. Included <laughs> <laughs> as well, you know, with the queerness, uh, transness, uh, you know, when people get to know me and learn that, then they're just like, oh yeah, oh, mm, I can't be doing all that gay shit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, you do I don't know about that, but that, that's a crazy, re like, revelation, though. Finally coming to that conclusion, or, like, coming to that revelation, like, that realization, mm -hmm. that, like, oh, like, he used to be a she, like that, that, that's crazy. Like it, it threw me for Didn't a loop when know, I was watching. I was like, like, I was going, <laughs> I was like what the hell? So like, would have never be that, known. I mean, but like, 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 dude, was like Boulderhead was saying, like, it's just like yeah, once you get to a certain age, it's like, bro, like you can do what you want to do, and everyone around me knows that I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, do carefree do. guy. Go ahead, bro. I've been around transgenders. I've been around gay people. Just do what you do. Some man. people later just, oh, why are you gay around me? Why are you? Chill, that's, that's my nigga, you are tweaking, bro. You're doing too much, bro. Like, you I'm starting, somebody I'm starting to wonder about you, bro. Nobody's even looking at man. Like, nobody even you. looking at you. Like, do you got something to tell me? <laughs> Maybe you got a problem with yourself, Because you are doing bro. too, yes, yeah. you are doing too much. You having you know a saying? conflict, Check babe. Yourself. It's never that serious. Why are you never. so pressed over somebody else's sexuality? Hella pressed. Like, you're you whack. Gay? I'm straight. Simple. And? You acting like you, you in the room when they doing what they do. Like, what's up with you, dude? Like, what the hell? Like... What's wrong with you? You're such a weirdo, dude. Like just by being conservative, friends that I had coming up in the black community, people that I know from just being out and around in Virginia, some of them kind of turn their back on you. Oh, you want to support? You want to support Trump? You hate black folks? All this that and the third. Now I feel like some of that's kind of going away because a person like me being a black Trump supporter is less of a novelty at this particular point. Now it's kind of like a normal thing. But we're not all the same, you know, we're not monolith. Everybody yeah. have their own, their, exactly. we are our own people. We're diverse different people. I mean, exactly. and I play hockey. So a lot of people are like, man, black people don't do that, man. We do everything. Come on, man, <laughs> black people don't do that. I'm like, hey, man, oh, black yeah. people oh, yeah. I just seen a, a video on Twitter where there was a black dude, he was throwing hands with this one white dude in hockey. He was, I don't know, he was whooping his ass, bro. He was, <laughs> like, he was getting beat up, dude, like crazy. But yeah, I mean, if you a conservative black person, I mean, cool. I mean, personally, I don't agree that Trump was a good president for anybody, bro. Real talk. They on the but I mean, for that one. I yeah, don't know about right. that one.
Like one thing That's is being conservative, joke. but another thing is to accept and support all the shit that Donald Trump did, bro. When he wasn't doing nothing for nobody. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know a little trick to make all the women chase you? Want to trick to <laughs> I've never been outside of or excluded from my race. I'm cool with everybody in my race, and I'm cool with everybody in other races. I uh, ran for political office. I've been member of um, Park Mesa Height Neighborhood Council. You win? I did. He cannot stand her. Oh, he's a her. big he person, her dude. Park. I wanted to say I'm something. Like, bro, your problem, Even though bro. <laughs> I have felt excluded before, black people Dang, in bro. my life have been the Dang. most. He big person. Did, Did you win? win? Like, like his whole posture and everything. Damn, like, he bro. just don't give a what is f was, about what she's saying. Like, like, like I, he don't. What's your problem, man? <laughs> the reason why I came here all the way from Pennsylvania to do this is to show the world that even that all of us regardless of our skin color or the way we think politically we are so diverse we're so diverse just because I identify <laughs> as a conservative so doesn't... I'm sorry so man I'm I'm sorry, I know it's bro. messed up but like how people like make fun of him and, and don't accept him in the black oh, and white talk bro. but like and with his bro. big eyes like big ass eyes bro we're so diverse, you know? <laughs> it's like, like, no. He didn't like that little dirt meme, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna like that. I mean, this, this video almost I'm wrapped sorry. up. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's go get over with. I mean, I'm agree with you or agree with you. Just because you identify as a liberal doesn't mean you're gonna disagree with me on everything. We found ourselves what? agreeing with a lot today. The common ground is I ah. uh, it's called middle ground. Right, right, middle ground. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it for today. So I'm in the back over there. It's called middle ground. Bro. God bless you all. Especially Lady Cage is nuts, bro. She's nutty for real, like Miss Nuttyland. Yeah. So, thoughts. Yeah, that was that, man. I mean, thoughts, uh... That was that was an interesting hey, video. That was a that dope. Was an interesting concept. Yeah, that was an interesting concept. I was about to say that. That gets your mind going. Like you got to think critical. I mean, there for was real. some characters. A lot of dude. critical thinking. There were some characters. Lady Cage Lady and Cage. that young dude. What was his name? I forgot his name. I'm what was like, like the yeah. main question for you that that would have had you rambling on and on? Be like, nah. Are like, we gonna talk about this All right it, now? Dude, but to be honest, I feel like. I the one about uh, slavery. Slavery. About I was about to say that. Slavery. That was yeah. the question for me. Yeah. Get over slavery, bro. Motorhead hair was nuts for that one. Like, oh, your hair look like that. That ain't even up for, like, discussion, bro. Never. Like, ever. I'm still sitting over here looking at Michael tie that shirt. Let me stop this recording, <laughs> actually. Yeah, that was that. I mean, I enjoyed talking about it. We had... Different personalities bro. and stuff always stirs up a good comrade. Like, it's just mm -hmm. about to be something. I had a good laugh, too. I, I yeah, no, nah, that was funny, bro. That was funny. From dude having a fucking rock head. The dude pressing Lady Cage, bro. The dude pressing Lady he Cage was on at every Lady chance Cage he got, bro. Head, bro. Lady Cage herself, he said, like, she win? was a nut, he bro. He said, it shows. Like, <laughs> bro, what? Like, what's your what deal, show, bro? What man? I just do it for life. Period. Like, like, I know you feel a type of way, but that's, that's still your elder, man. Come on, man. Come on. Man. I know that is. That's, that's your elder. Oh, so you got to respect them. Yeah. If they saying something wrong, you, you can definitely say the correct, correct, correct answer. Them. Yeah. Like, the truth is the truth no matter what. You know what I mean? The truth going to prosper, you feel me? The frogs don't, though. That's fine. Well, how you going to close the video, man? I just want to thank my brother for being my little guest co-star with me in this video. Bro, my teeth look amazing in his life. Bro. I know me too, but I just been... Man, like, I want to be like this the whole time. <laughs> yo, what's up, yo? That's how I feel like right now. But yeah, so thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, subscribe. Make sure to comment down below and give us a like, please. A big fat thumbs up. And hit that notification bell. Y'all already know what to do. Oh, yeah. And I forgot, man. I got a website, too. www.wolfomega.com. WXLF. O O two O. I'll link it. A dot com. She'll link it. Go to my website, bro. Go to my website. Check it out. It looks cool the and everything. Truth. And like I said, more music is on the way. And also, we doing YouTube too. That's All right, y'all. Until next time. Love you guys so so much. And always stay safe. Make sure to check my brother out and his music. Give him a listen. Bye.